Okay, this is a video on time differences. So we've already talked about this and we did a lesson on it and some examples in class. But just putting the video up, I'm just going to record it again for you just so that I can talk about the things that we um, stressed during the lesson. Okay, so remember we said that the differences in time are measured according to the longitudinal distance. Because if I've got points A, B, C and D, they're all at the same position at the same time. So they're all at the same position of the sun. It doesn't matter that they sit on a different parallel of latitude. It doesn't matter whether they're up here or down here or in the middle. The fact that they're on that same longitude means that they have the same time. So time differences are determined by the meridian of longitude. All points have the same time regardless of latitude at the same position to the sun. Now, as we said, our prime meridian, our zero position, is known as our Greenwich meridian or the prime meridian. And our Greenwich meridian, we then look at positions of longitude which are east or west. We said this is also the longitude or the meridian of longitude where we have GMT or Greenwich mean time, our zero, zero time. So Greenwich mean time, if we're moving to the east when we are ahead of time or plus time, if we are moving to the west we are minusing time or behind time. We also looked in last lesson, and the other reason why I'm re-recording this, is UTC is a common universal time, so it also is the same thing as GMT. So it's that zero positioning. Now remember Greenwich is a town in the UK, it's very close to London and it's a town that this meridian exactly goes through. So if you're asked for in comparison to London, then basically you're referring to GMT as the London positioning. So we said to look at time differences, we needed to think about the Earth. 360 degrees, an entire rotation of the Earth takes one day. So that's 24 hours, dividing both by 24 hours and we get a conversion which is 15 degrees is equal to one hour. Remember, these are not on your formula sheet. You need to remember them. So dividing both of those, converting one hour of obviously into 60 minutes, dividing both of them by 15, we get a conversion for one degree is four minutes. We also talked about using our DMS button or our degrees, minutes, seconds or bubble button to convert between hours and minutes. So for example, the one when we looked at was 33 degrees difference between the two uh, towns. So there's a 33 degree difference between this or perhaps this position here and a position over here which may be G. If there's 33 degrees difference between those then we're going to multiply that every one minute is sorry every one degree is four minutes. We're going to multiply that by four gives us 132 minutes. When I divide it by 60 to get into hours I get 2.2. So I press my bubble button which will give me two hours and 12 minutes. Uh, and I think we then worked on exercise seven Oh, 04 and I'm pretty sure the questions were questions 5 through to 15.